From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Partly sunny skies and warm temps, perfect for getting outside this Easter Sunday. Your weather forecast is coming up in just a moment. Happy Easter, everyone. I'm Lauren St. Germain, and here are your ABC Action News headlines. Treasure Island police officers need your help finding a man who they say exposed himself to a teenage girl. The teen says she was walking on Lagoon Lane yesterday when a white car stopped just ahead of her. The driver asked the teen for help, and when she ignored him, she says he got out of the car and exposed himself. She ran away, and the suspect drove off. They believe believe he's between 25 and 35 years old, 5'7 to 5'9 and slightly overweight. He also has a dark brown or black beard and short hair. Police say the car is a white two door sedan with a license plate, possibly starting with a G or C. If you have any information, get in contact with the Treasure Island Police Department. Starting tomorrow, new regulations will go in place for daycares across the state. They'll create emergency plans and go through more training. Also, daycares will be required to call a child's emergency contact if a parent is late for pickup. Another issue is the number of kids at the daycares. In Pinellas County, each daycare worker will only be allowed to care for three infants at a time. In Hillsborough and across the state, that number is at four. A nationwide movement is making its way to the Bay Area. Environmentalists want to do away with plastic straws and St. Pete could be following suit. Fort Myers Beach passed a straw ban in November and St. Pete City Council discussed the idea at this month's meeting. Ideas for the ordinance include requiring patrons to ask for a straw and not just automatically giving them or banning them altogether. Plans are in the works right now to connect a growing part of South Hillsborough County to other parts of Florida. There's now a proposal for Hillsborough County to create a 13 mile trail. It will connect the Palm River, Riverview and Gibsonton areas to Manatee County. The County Planning Commission has a meeting on Tuesday and wants your input. We have all the information you need to know on ABCActionNews.com. And you can help save someone's life by giving blood this Easter Sunday. Several Walmart stores will be holding blood drives today. People who donate will get a $10 Walmart gift card and it's happening at select locations around the Bay Area. Starting at 11 o'clock this morning, we have a full list on abcactionnews.com and our free ABC Action News mobile app. More sunshine today than what we had Saturday. That's great news for your Easter Sunday plans as we see temperatures climbing into the low to mid 80s for highs today. There's also an isolated shower chance, but that shower chance is going to be fairly limited. So I have your high around 83 degrees here in Tampa. As we look inland east of I-75, a few spots as high as 84 to 85 degrees and along the beaches closer to 80 to 83 for those high temperatures. Water temperatures into the Gulf if you have plans to head to the beach are into the lower 70s. Lauren. You can get all the news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News mobile app. Don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore! Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians always use the crosswalk and push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.